What's going on everybody? We are about to run FSD to see if it can get us to the gym. We have humans literally in the street on the highway portion. Not smart. <laughs> anyway, we're running in a serve mode on version 11.4.9 and we're heading to TG, uh, the gym in San Diego over on Garnett. About a 10 minute drive, 11 kilometers. And we're just gonna see how the system performs on the way over there. This is part of me trying to just get more content flowing. No word so far on you know, whether or not we're getting version 12 anytime soon. The kind of going thing is in the coming weeks. I think that was said on the earnings call. Um, just make sure my mic is on. And of course, we're seeing posts from Hallmars all about it and such. Hopefully sooner than later, it kind of brings me back for any of you that have been watching Starship um, for any number of years. If you go back to when we were doing the hops with the upper ship tank portion, it was kind of a going joke, like when hop, two weeks was always the answer. Hop in two weeks. It could have been two months, but it was just kind of a going joke, it was two weeks. So you'll see that a lot on X and such coming from Elon and it's kind of the joke going around. Some people that just kind of know what that's about, you get in that mirror. I might have to ask Tesla what's going on. My right mirror wants to kind of get stuck in its downward position but sometimes just hitting reset on my profile fixes that. System's handling this part of the drive really well, as expected. The highway portions, uh, the complaints are few and far between for me. It's mostly merge behavior and, and lane staging, which has even in that vein gotten quite good. We'll see how we handle going from here on to the eight west and then transitioning to the five north seeing which of those two lanes we pick. Last time we were staged incorrectly, we're really lingering to the right there, but cool. There wasn't really any worry about it choosing the improper lane. It's just kind of dancing to the right. Roads are relatively empty, hoping the gym's not too busy too. We'll see. There are some points on the five north with that exit uh, before Balboa, which is Grand and Garnett, Right after you're going down and underneath the five overpass, the system always wants to stop, like there's a light there or a stop sign or something there, which isn't. Um, just a, a mapping issue, I guess. I always, every time, have to give it throttle for that area. And I expect it'll be the same for this as well. Um, in the coming days and weeks, I want to do a few things, revisiting you know, the downtown shuffle, the La Jolla scramble. Hopefully by the time this video is out, I've already uploaded the unguided adventure and the crazy 163 northbound exit videos. I'm trying to just think about all the different things that I want to test and line up as well as eventually, hopefully sooner than later, getting back into the customer reactions. That does in large part rely on a customer being engaging and talkative because I'm not going to pester a customer contrary to what some people may think that are not fans of me doing customer reactions videos for whatever reason. Usually financial. <laughs> All right, cool, choosing the correct lane, I like this. This is the lane here that we wanna stage in for this exit, that way we're already in the leftmost lane when we're getting onto the five north. That is an example of good staging, of not having to do it last minute. Of course, the road being this empty is a huge help because there really isn't much that'll stop us or get in the way or pinch us out of our maneuvers. System's handling this just fine. I'm expecting it to get a little sloppy after the spot I already mentioned on the exit and then going down. Goodness, what is that road? I'm actually spacing what that road is. Uh, I don't want the system to yell at me here, but this portion here, which I don't actually see like a, a road name on it. We'll know once we actually get there but it's, it's always had a bit of an issue navigating that. Man, that surfboard is just waiting to fly off that car. Oof, sketchy. Now this lane again, you might have seen in another video, this is going to end as an exit lane. <clears throat> we have plenty of time, probably a good kilometer, two kilometers before, or about a mile and a half before it'll become an exit lane for Claremont and Mission Bay Drive. Personally, just, out of habit and just knowing that these on-ramps and such are coming i would already be one lane to our left cruising behind this model y uh we're fortunate that here we're not really blocking anybody but i really don't like 
either sitting in the passing lane, which that's what it is, not a fast lane, it's a passing lane, or sitting in the exit lane. Those are two areas where, uh, honestly, the system shouldn't linger. Uh, again, we're in assertive mode. I don't really know that's really doing much to change it. This guy's trunk is partially open. I don't know, I don't know if they know. I see we're still in this lane. It is identifying that we need to get over. Yeah, this, this Audi is one of those impatient drivers that won't let us over, so we need to decelerate and execute. And we are taking too long, because now this Model 3 behind us is gonna come up. Okay, now we have an opening. Now she's accelerating, almost like she was waiting for me to turn my turn signal on to accelerate. Don't be that person. <laughs> cool, we got over, we're not blocking anybody. Decent speed limit, 115K or about 71 miles an hour. And we only got about another kilometer to our exit. There goes Claremont and Mission Bay Drive. And you'll see here real soon as we go into this overpass where the system's gonna hit the brakes and I'm gonna have to give it throttle. Aside from that, going to the gym almost every time, it's, it's just about perfect. If it was a customer's trip, I could consider it um, successful. Ooh, a little wavy there. That was uncomfortable. I think this is a single, no, it's a double lane exit. So we're fine in this lane. Um, ideally staging for our upcoming maneuver, we would want to be in this right lane, but that is getting nitpicky. Oh man, changing lanes right there wasn't great, <laughs> but I'm also not really going to complain about it too much. Um, this car is not protruding, so cool, no reaction. Okay, here it comes. Right around here, we're just going to start to decelerate. There it is. And we're gonna keep decelerating. No one's behind us, so I'm not holding anybody up. I'm just gonna let it kind of do its thing. Oh, it's not actually stopping. Not yet, at least. We are still decelerating very slow. Our speed limit is 62 kilometers an hour. Now 80, uh, which is about 45-ish, 50 miles per hour. Um, or no, sorry, the speed limit's probably 45, which is the 72 kilometers an hour. So now I'm even getting confused. Uh, no, that was good. Maybe I've been a little over ambitious. See, like doing this also teaches me what the system is doing, which I really like. And so far it is killing it. I also, I am using the system a lot more now that I'm back to doing this. And I think I'm, I don't think I've really been allowing the system to go through its teething where it's rocky and weird because that has been a normal thing, patch to patch. You go through sort of a teething phase. And I think now Mew is actually able to go through that teething phase and kind of smooth out the edges with how much we're using system. So this, this next part's a little sloppy usually. It, it gets over to this turning lane a little too late. We'll see how FSD handles it here or that black car is awkwardly doing that. Well, that should be fun. <laughs> we got this curb jutting out, a little jolty, and there we go. Little little late getting in here. This Chevy has totally screwed the pooch on this turn lane. Um, hopefully the system, okay, cool. We're inching forward because I want to get out of the way of this Jeep. She's She's good going around. I'm gonna just nudge the throttle a little bit, hopefully not freaking the system out, just to not be in that lane. And, okay, so now we're good. We'll skip through this light if it's too crazy. Oh, now we got somebody backing up. All right, you fixed yourself. Cool, FSD is responding. Let's see if we get a ride on red. It's not been wanting to do ride on reds on this update for me. Are you gonna do it? Can you do it? We got plenty of time. Good shit. Oh, that's awesome. Oh man, all right, this is one of the best drives to the gym that I've had, so I'm stoked. I'm gonna take over here because the, the navigation just wants you to go into the wrong uh, entrance for this parking lot, because it's kind of weird how it's set up. Uh, but that was really freaking good, man. That that gets me excited, that was cool. Um, the areas where I thought it was gonna not do so hot, it did really well, and holy shit, this parking lot is empty. I was all worried that the gym would be slammed. We're usually here around 4.30 in the morning, uh, of course, on the weekdays. But I hope you guys enjoyed the hell out of that. I definitely did. I'm looking forward to doing a lot more videos and getting a lot more content out. So stick around, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.